Are you still choosing a champion? Go for Lulu because of her polymorph. She can humiliate any Thresh that hits a hook and tries to engage after that, allowing you for some interesting free poke on the ADC. Morgana's shield is a blessing to champions like Thresh and Blitz, which depends so strongly on hitting one ability. And finally, Alistar can make bad Thresh go away pretty easily. Janet with her tornado, Zyro and Leona with their counter engages are other viable counters too. Thresh is the most melee ranged champion there is in League, meaning his auto attacks don't fire projectiles due to his passive, so his auto attack speed seems rather high at first. His passive makes enemies who die near Thresh drop souls, which he can collect to grant him bonus AP and armor. His Q is his famous hook, which as the name implies, hooks enemies and stuns them for one and a half seconds and then allows Thresh to dash to the tethered enemy. His W makes him throw a lantern that shields allies and when clicked by the first ally will drag him towards Thresh's location. His E is called Flay and passively makes his auto attacks deal bonus damage and actively sweep every enemy within his skill shot range towards the cursor. His ultimate creates a death box around Thresh's position, which will slow any enemy champion that passes through it by 99% for 2 seconds. There's 5 walls which disappear after a champion hits them. They also deal damage so don't kill yourself please. Only the first wall deals damage though. Thresh's have a bunch of combos but they all stem from first hitting a hook. He'll have a slight casting animation which you can use to try and dodge it. Just try not to get yourself into an insane hook compilation please. As a support he'll take exhaust or ignite apart from flash. You can take either if you're playing support too but just be careful if he brings ignite because it means he'll most likely go for early aggressiveness to make use of it. Thresh has a pretty good level 1 if he starts with a hook, which most actually don't, meaning his level 2 is an even better power spike because he'll guaranteedly have it by then. Face of the Mountain allows him to shield allies in the tank stats synergize perfectly with it. Like most supports, he's very good all throughout the game, but stands out mostly in the early laning phase and late team fighting phase when he has already stacked a bunch of armor. Thank you for tuning in, good luck in your match and remember, see his animations and dodge the hook, don't face plant versus his ultimate wall, and try to counter engage when he does instead of running away. Ultimately, have fun doing it.